It is indeed a long coalition agreement here in Germany, and it's a big day here in German politics as those three parties announced their plans for the next four years. Big plans for them in everything from foreign policy to social affairs to climate protection as well, including some of the promises, the idea to invest in renewable energies, the goal that the Social Democrats had as well to increase the minimum wage, something that will affect around 10 million people here in Germany. And also, as far as foreign policy is concerned, those pillars that for a long time have been very important in German foreign policy, including the friendship with France, something that Olaf Scholz himself stressed very early on during that press conference. It is an important day in German politics because it will certainly bring to an end those 16 years of Angela Merkel as chancellor. And from what we've heard here in, in Germany, here in Berlin, it is probable that Olaf Scholz could be sworn in as Germany's next chancellor in the second week of December, provided that all three parties approve this coalition deal when they present it to their, to their members in, for example, party conferences that will take place in the next few days. And Thomas, big challenges ahead for that incoming government, not least the COVID pandemic. Do we know what Olaf Scholz plans to do to tackle the resurgence of cases in Germany? Actually, the three parties stress today that they're taking over the German government in a time of crisis, in a time of difficult coronavirus resurgence. Germany had 66,000 new cases in the last 24 hours. And Olaf Scholz began his speech today actually by talking about the coronavirus situation and by presenting what was described as an action plan, including, for example, a new advisory board that will help the German government in the next few months, also bonuses for people who work in healthcare, and also stressing the importance of booster vaccinations and also for vaccinations for those who have not yet taken up a vaccination offer here in Germany. Around two-thirds of the population are now fully vaccinated in Germany, which is more than other countries around the world, but less if you compare it to certain Western European countries. Thomas Sparrow for us there 